Right now at 5.30, we are just six days away from closing out 2023. Unbelievable. And of Woo. course, that means welcoming the Rose Parade. And this year's floats are better than ever. They are so cool. The annual event takes place, of course, on New Year's Day. NBC 4's Michelle Bias is going to give us a sneak peek right now at some of this year's floats. You can feel the energy and see the excitement on the faces of the volunteers. The countdown is on. We are at Fiesta Parade Floats in Irwindale. Inside here are five of the spectacular musical floats that you will see in the Rose Parade on New Year's Day. Spectacular time. Couldn't be a better time because they brought music with Mardi Gras. This is Louisiana's third entry in the Rose Parade. So they're bringing their parade vibe to us. Oh really is going to rock it. They're, they're going to stop in the middle of the parade and they're going to have a uh, mid-parade performance. Oh, whose float is this one? Belong to? So this is the UPS store. It is going to be a showstopper. The crocodile is a 35 foot tall crocodile. It's so tall, it can't even stand up in our building here. So the head of the crocodile will go right here? And then we're going to put the arms on. The arms are going to be moving, putting the head on. The head's going to be rocking. It's going to be a rocking float. So the city of Torrance has been in the parade for over 67 years. It is a really tremendous float. They run a contest inside the city of Torrance amongst all the high school students to design the float. So this is the Kaiser Permanente float. This year, right on theme, Symphony of You. So there's going to be members of the LA Philharmonic on this float. You can see a 50 foot tall uh, healthcare provider who's orchestrating the symphony of the healthcare journey that people have to go on. Talk about the special representation with this float in the Hopi Nation. So I'm told it's going to take 50 volunteer 50 hours volunteers. just to finish one of the baskets. And there's at least 10 baskets on this float. Uh, one Legacy Donate Life was last year's sweepstakes trophy winner. They uh, put together a beautiful float that plays uh, homage to the Hopi Nation and the great traditions and rich culture that exists. Each float requires at least 500 volunteers. Now, the first few days, like today, are dedicated toward dry decorating. And then the final days involve adding all of the flowers to the float. Thank you, Jim. They still need volunteers to sign up. Go to floatdecorators.com. In Irwindale, Michelle Bias, NBC4 News.